Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing Julie's Picks from Fabric Mart, the November 2019 Fall Swatch Catalog. In this catalog, there are a lot of nice fabrics for fall, including a wide whale corduroy. Also, in this video, the format for this swatch video is gonna be a little bit different. So as I go along, if I'm inspired by a fabric, I'm going to insert um, a pattern suggestion, basically what I would make with that fabric. So hopefully you like this new format, and if you do, let me know in the comments below, give it a thumbs up, and going forward, I will adjust my swatch catalog of reviews for the, to be that format. Also, I wanted to talk about my shirt that I'm wearing. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it says, I'd rather be scrolling for fabric, and it is a cell phone, and because if you're like me, you're on the couch and you're just kind of like scrolling through fabric, or if you're on a break at work, you're just kind of like online looking at fabric, scrolling, or in bed. Anyway, um, this is a shirt that I designed, I made. I'm gonna be opening a little like Etsy shop to sell my designs because I have a few designs sewing related. So if you like them, I'm gonna make them available. Feel free to check it out and once I get my store up I will link it below and you can also find information on my website SoCalSocialite.com but let's stop rambling and let's get to these swatches. Our first swatch is Watercolor Poppies Stretch Sateen from a New York designer. The colors are dark navy, red, dark olive, and tan. It's 97% cotton, 3% lycra, so there is a little bit of stretch in there. It's 59 inches wide, and Julie's price is $7.99 a yard. Next, we have a black watch plaid flannel shirting, also from a New York designer. It's navy, black, and evergreen. This is a very classic and popular plaid. It's 100% cotton, 60 inches wide, and Julie's price is $6.99 a yard. So for this one, I'm thinking of a shirt dress, Simplicity 8014, and specifically, I like views B and D. I really like shirt dresses with opaque tights and boots in the fall. Or leggings. Next, we have this soft stretch denim imported from Japan color denim blue, 60% cotton, 33% rayon, 7% spandex, so as the name states, er, there's some stretch in there. It's 58 inches wide, and Julie's price is $7.99 a yard. For this one, I'm also thinking the shirt dress, Simplicity 8014, but I'm also thinking of wide leg pants, and um, Berta 6573 has these really nice wide leg sailor style pants with the buttons in the front. I just think they look really cute. And then also Vogue 9302. Those are some really nice um, wide leg pants. And this denim is kind of lightweight, but not too lightweight. You know, it's still substantial, but it's got enough drape so that it would hang nicely on those wide leg pants. And it's kind of soft. Next, we have this textured double knit, and this one's in red, as you can see. It's from a New York designer, 100% cotton, 52 inches wide, and Julie's price is $8.99 a yard. So you can see there's quite a bit of stretch there. And there's the back. For this one, I'm thinking a uh, the sweater from Simplicity, the button sweater. Simplicity 6709, I like view A or C, so you have the buttons on the sleeves, which are really cute, or you can do the view with the string tie that creates some ruching. Those are my favorite views on this pattern, and I think that, especially with the buttons, I just think this texture would go really well. Next up, we have this floral Liberty Look Stretch Satin from a New York designer. Colors are Coral Red Buttercup, khaki, off-white, 97% cotton, 3% lycra, 58 inches wide, and Julie's price is $7.99 a yard. A bit of stretch there. Next, we have Interlocking Knots Print Charmeuse from a New York designer. 
So on the bright side, it's a bit shiny, and then on the back, it's matte. And the colors are magenta, plum, black, champagne, 100% silk. It's 56 inches wide and $12.99 a yard. I think $12.99 a yard is really great for silk. It's very soft. I love the colors in this. I just think the purple with the gold and black are really, really nice. First off, I'm thinking you can just make a scarf with this. I think that would just be an awesome pop of color to any outfit. Well, not any outfit. Of course, you want to color match it, right? But if you want to make a garment, I'm just picturing one of those um, tie neck blouses. So Vogue 8772 View B would be a great choice for this. And then for you indie pattern fans, sew over it. The pussy bow blouse would be another great option. But this is just really nice fabric. Love it. Then we've got this ultra suede from a New York designer. And it is a muted plum color, 100% polyester. And it's 58 inches wide, $12.99 a yard. It says that it is a rare find and there are more colors available. So, be. so this one, it's, um, it's not like your typical faux um, suede like you find in Joann's where it's kind of um, drapey. This is very stiff and thick. Um, my immediate thought is to make a moto jacket and there's one um, by Lisette for Butterick. I think it's, yeah, Butterick 6169. I would make a moto jacket out of this. I don't think it's too thick for it. Um, I think that pattern calls for like linen or twill, but I still think you could get away with using this. It's, it's, it's pretty soft. It's not super soft, but it's soft enough and I think it would work well for a jacket. Well, a moto jacket specifically. Okay. This is one of my favorite swatches in the bunch, probably because of the color and it's just this beautiful, just um, dark teal. And it's a bit iridescent. So it's iridescent stretch pinwheel corduroy. It's imported from Italy. The colors are dark teal and black. 97% cotton, 3% lycra. So you've got some stretch there. And it's $9.99 a yard for Julie's price. And that's great for fabric that's imported from Italy. So with this one, the first thing that came to mind is a fitted blazer. I like Butterick 4610, any view of these. I believe this is an older pattern, so you'll probably want to search online if you want to pick it up. But I did do a quick search and it's available like Etsy and eBay, so you won't have any problem finding it. Or maybe Joanne might have it, but it's hard. I don't. I find that they don't always carry the older pattern, so you can test your luck there. Also, um, some slim pants or cigarette pants. Simplicity eight nine five seven. It's quite a few options on there in terms of the bottom of the leg. You can put buttons on it. You can have a lower back hem. You can just have plain leg. But I really like this pattern and. Um, you can do like a matching kind of suit or just make pants, just make a blazer. I love it. Especially for, you know, more towards Christmas. Next, we have this sheer stripe knit from a New York designer. Color is black, polyester and lycra, 56 inches wide and $7.99 a yard. So you can see there's no stretch on this way. There's stretch on the crossways, a lot of stretch. And no picks for that one. We have this black cotton twill. It's mid-weight and 100% cotton, 56 inches wide, $7.99 a yard. Kind of hard to see, it looks like just a black square, but uh, you can imagine twill weave on this. I think that the Slim Pants Simplicity 8957 would work really well for this too. Just a nice pair of, you know, classic pair of pants. I think Audrey Hepburn, didn't she wear kind of cigarette pants or something? 
Next is called Paint Dabs Print Jersey Knit, colors pink, aqua blue, black, and uh, it says multi, okay. Yes, it's multicolored. 95% rayon, 5% lycra, and 58 inches wide. So there are more colors available online. This one, um, 58 inches wide, $6.99 a yard, and the nice bright colors. I didn't have a pick for that one. Next, we have a jersey knit in mustard. And it's 92% rayon, 8% lycra, 60 inches wide, $7.99 a yard. It's made in the USA, too. And next we have a floral print on a sandwash charmeuse from a New York designer. The colors are gray taupe, slate blue, mauve pink, uh, slash multi. They multi there. 100% polyester, 60 inches wide. Julie's price is $6.99 a yard. Really pretty. Has sort of an iridescent sheen to it. You could um, also make a pussy blow blouse out of this. I think that would work really well. Personally, for me, these aren't colors I would wear. Just a bit too muted. Next, we have a floral print heathered brushed sweater knit. In mauve, sage, and plum, 95% polyester, 5% lycra, so you're going to have some stretch, and it's kind of thin, so you can see that as I stretch it. It's really, really soft on the outer part. It's soft on the inside too, but it's like super soft, kind of brushed on this, well, duh, it's brushed in the name, so that's why it's soft. Um, it's 56 inches wide and then $7.99 a yard, Julie's price. I'm thinking um, it'd be kind of nice to have like a cardigan wrap sweater and that would be McCall's 6996. Really any of you would do. I just think it's kind of fun to have a printed um, cardigan. You could just do a button up cardigan and Simplicity 8951 would be good for that. In fact, I believe these colors are very similar to the sample on the front envelope. So another great application for this would could be a dress. Simplicity 8982 has a nice long dress with long sleeves that would work really well, but it also has a skirt and long sleeve sweater um, patterns in there as well, so you could even and do that if you like. So I, I think that pattern would work really well for this. Just bear in mind this is kind of thin, as I said. Okay. Next we have a solid twill in slate blue-gray. Hopefully you can tell this is a blue-gray. It's cotton tinsel blend, 64 inches wide, so that's nice and wide. And $8.99 a yard, you can make the cigarette pants, uh, the Simplicity Slim Pant pattern with this. Just off the top of my head. Next we have Floral Bouquets Liverpool Knit. Colors are amaranth pink. Off-white and black, polyester and lycra blend, 58 inches wide, $6.99 a yard for Julie's price. Nice stretch there. So for this one, I'm thinking a dress, and um, McCall's 7967 views A, B, or D in particular, I think would work really well for this. In fact, Mimi G just did a sew along, and I think she did view A. Um, I think views... A, B, or D would work really well for the fall. I made view D, and I'll link that video below for my pattern review. And I love this pattern. It is super easy, super quick. So even if you don't make it out of like this, I really recommend that pattern. But anyway, let's move on. We've got Heathered Interlock Knit from Better Outdoor Wear Manufacturer. Okay, color is cherry red. Organic cotton, polyester and lycra blend, 59 inches wide. A lot of stretch there. A lot of stretch, wow. It is kind of thin as well. Julie's price is $5.99 a yard. And with this one, I'm thinking of the sweater with the exposed seam and that simplicity, 8988. I like views A or B for that. This would work pretty well, I think. 
Then we have a Ooh, it's kind of hard to tell because see if that helps there you go so this is kind of sheer so it's floral stripe jacquard voile color white obviously 100 percent cotton 44 inches wide 5.99 a yard thank you book and we have an animal print jersey knit in black white and gray Ran and like we're a blend, 64 inches wide, and Julie's price is $6.99 a yard. Nice. Then we have a Paisley print Shelly in primary blue, rust red, cream, and eh, slash multi, 100% rayon, 58 inches wide, and Julie's price is $5.99 a yard. I think this would be a really pretty scarf. I mean, decorative scarf right i mean just not gonna really keep you warm next we have this beautiful it's called abstract fanciful burnout velvet knit from a new york designer in purple black off-white and goldenrod Ooh. polyester lycra 58 inches wide julie's special price is only five dollars a yard that's awesome um so this is obviously stretchy and I could suggest a pattern, but this is burnout, so you'd have to have a lining, so I'm just gonna skip that. But one thing you could do with velvet burnout is make long sleeves out of it, or short sleeves. And I think the effect of having um, like long sleeves, but then you have some burnout, it's kind of nice. Looks like next is this metallic jersey knit. Colors are black and silver, rayon, Metallic and Lycra, 56 inches wide, and Julie's special price is only $5 a yard, nice and shimmery. So a lot of times when you have metallic in um, fabric, it can be itchy, and this doesn't feel itchy to me. I feel like I could wear this all over my body and it's not going to bother me. Um, so in the catalog, they suggest, what is this, McCall's 7933. That's a sweater dress pattern, and honestly, I feel like this fabric is a bit just too flimsy. That's my opinion. I could be wrong, but I don't think that I would make that dress out of it. I think that for this, um, I bought a bodysuit pattern recently, and that's McCall 7983. I would definitely make a bodysuit with this. Um, the long sleeve or the short sleeve version, definitely, um, that would be really nice with this next up let's see we have this ponte knit it's imported from italy and it says superb quality and i can definitely vouch for this this is some nice ponte it's 95 percent rayon five percent lycra and it's 60 inches wide julie's price is 9.99 a yard i love the drape of this i love the feel of it it feels rich um, so, so I'm thinking pants with this, some nice pull on pants and simplicity 9017 would be really good. It looks like, you, well, for me, I'd probably lengthen those pants. I think they stop at her ankle and I like my pants longer. So I would just lengthen those pants. Another option, um, would be the pants in, um, the next pattern I'm going to show you. So just keep that in mind because next we have this really pretty um, corded velvet knit. Now the stripe is horizontal. It's not vertical, like a corduroy almost. It's, it's, it's horizontal. So it goes, okay. Um, polyester and Lycra, 60 inches wide. It is super plush. It is so soft. I love it. I just wish that the stripes were vertical. I don't really like them going that way. That's just my personal preference. But I do think it would be really nice um, in Vogue 9350 for the kind of um, long wrap tunic. And then, um, you know, the maybe I don't really mind them going horizontally. Yeah, maybe not so much. And then you could do it with this. You could put the ponte pants underneath or I don't know if you like wearing all black, but 
um, even just with the tunic type. I think you can even wear that as a dress. This is just so soft. I love it. Really, really nice. Let me try to see those the little stripes there. Really, really great. And then we have this really nice heathered tweed flannel suiting imported from Italy. It's black and gray, 100% wool, 62 inches wide. I just love this tweed on here. And I have to tell you, um, I have a, a pattern in mind, but I can't find it. I mean, I don't own it and I can't find it online. I'll link it below if I do ever find it, but it's, um, they're kind of these just really nice shorts. And I happen to be a fan of wearing opaque tights and then shorts and maybe a sweater. I think it can has a potential to look cute. And I definitely would make um, shorts with this. So I have to find that pattern. I mean, this is great for blazers and skirts as well. Pencil skirts, um, pleated skirts, definitely. I'm not sure now that I am feeling this, if I would want to wear these as pants. I don't think I'd want this against my skin. It's just a little bit itchy. So whatever you make, you'd probably want a lining. Now, since I want to make shorts with it and I'm going to be wearing some tights underneath, I don't have to worry about a lining. Okay. Getting closer to the end, this is my last stack. We have Paisley Stylized Double Brushed Knit. I love brushed knit. I am not a super fan of these colors or this pattern, but it's really, really pretty. So the colors are Burnt Sienna, Black, Coral, Pink, and Tan. It's polyester and lycra, 58 inches wide, and it's $5 a yard. So that's a great price. The colors are very fall. Here's the back. And it's very soft. It's a little bit thinner than the double um, double brush knit that I'm used to. Next up is this Wide Whale Corduroy imported from Italy. This color is in caramel, but they do offer more colors online. It's 60 inches wide. Did I say 100% cotton? Anyway, it's 100% cotton. Julie's price is $7.99 a yard. It is super, super soft. I love it. Um, I'm thinking uh, a jacket, but it needs to be kind of a chunky jacket, if you know what I mean, like kind of boxy-ish. I don't know. So I came across a Butterick 6721 by Connie Crawford, and I think this would work well for that. Next, we have this nice uh, horizontal woven striped jersey knit. It's in dark navy and white. It's rayon cotton and lycra, 64 inches wide. And Julie's price is $7.99 a yard. There are more colors online. I like the navy and the white. And um, I'm going to throw an indie pattern out there for this one. And I'm thinking the Moneta dress by Colette Patterns. Um, that would be really cute. And that's very similar to the Agnes top that you can make into a dress by tilling the buttons. I did a sew along, um, one of the variations with the ruched sleeves and the ruched neckline, but you can do a round neckline and anyway, I think it'd be cute as a dress like that. Okay. Next, I'm going to show you these two together because these are the last two and they're both water repellent. So the first one is this dark olive water repellent poplin jacketing from a New York designer. And it's 100% cotton, 60 inches wide. It's only $5.99 a yard. And then you have this black one, uh, water repellent till twill suiting imported from Italy. It's black, obviously, but it's got a polyurethane backing and then the outside is wool. So I guess it's water repellent, so you could wear them as rain, like trench raincoats. I assume you can. This is wool. Anyway, at least with this one. And I'm thinking some classic trench coats. I know that's not exactly creative, but I think the classic trench from Vogue, classic trench from Vogue, 9367 would be really good. And then 
the Guy LaRoche longer trench coat from Vogue that came out recently, 1650 would be another option. Okay, so that is it. And I've got bits on my table from the swatches. Let me know your thoughts, um, which ones your favorites are. So you've seen me pick a few out to offer patterns. Um, I hope that's been helpful for you. So if you like this style where I give you suggestions throughout the video, please let me know. I'm trying to experiment with my style of these swatch videos. So your feedback is really appreciated. Thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate all of your support. So thank you so much for watching.